Hey, what's up, y'all? It's the Mother's House Podcast, and uh, I am D. Sean. What's going on, everyone? My name is Corey. Peace to the family. What's up with my cousin? Uh, chilling, man. What's up with you? Chilling, chilling. Can't call it. Just another day. Uh, so, um, Justin Timberlake, he out here explo- exploiting. <laughs> not exploiting. <laughs> Prince uh, Legacy, huh? Right. I guess he got to do something to make that Super Bowl performance work. I guess his album ain't doing it, huh? Right. Uh, but um. Well, uh, give us a breakdown, Deshaun, of what's going on with that. Well, I, well, they're saying that I don't know how true it is, but they're saying that um, he may use a Prince hologram for his uh, for his performance. I saw somewhere where his family, uh, you know, refused that. They said that when that's not happening. Oh really? So they, it's not gonna happen? I guess we'll yeah. see. Mm-hmm. We'll see. But um, according to the family, it's not happening. They 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 don't they they feel like it's disrespectful. So I mean, he already having a party at Prince House. Like seriously, they had a listening party at Prince House, right? right. And um, at Paisley Park, um, Paisley Park, what is it called? Uh, it's Paisley. I believe so. In uh, Minnesota. Yeah, in Minnesota. You know, the Super Bowl's in Minnesota, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, they're going to try to play on the, you know, the purple one, you know, his hometown. Um, And they probably going to try to throw, he might throw an homage to old Prince. But when I think of Prince, he wouldn't have been down with that. They think Prince didn't like him for a minute. That's what I thought. I thought Prince wasn't too fond of Justin Timberlake. I don't know if they squashed beef behind closed doors but I know they had you know not a good relationship for from what I can see, from what I thought you know I didn't right. and you know Prince is not the most approving <laughs> you know Prince kind of mm-hmm. like what he like and don't like what he don't like you know He's yeah so I don't cool. let you know I don't like that right, yeah. right. so Prince, like, this, this corny white boy don't go somewhere. Right, right. <laughs> he don't get the hell out of my damn house. What the hell he doing in my house? You know, it's, it's like when Prince passed away, and, you know, the whole legal battles over his estate and everything, it bears the mind about ownership and, you know, ownership to your music and your property. And this man died, and they were already having, like, tours in his fucking house. And now they're doing listening parties in the man house. Like right. that's so disrespectful. Like, I mean, on that on that note, I don't know what his family. I don't know what the estate is. You know, I don't know who's in charge, and I don't know. Maybe they cool with it. So, I I can kind of see them treating his house like a museum of, of kind of. I can see that. I can see but, that, but you know, how, I, me personally, the same thing as Deshaun, like for instance, you, you're an artist, and mm-hmm. the same thing that you're on the level of, of a prince. You're a very secluded person. You're you're a private person. Mm-hmm. You would say right? Would it, after you transition, one, you, you ain't gonna miss it. You know, it, it ain't like you're gonna need any anything, right? But would you would you want somebody all up in your house? Uh, you know what? I don't think I would care. You know, I don't think it would be that big of a deal. Um, yeah, I don't think I would be bothered by because I'm not there. So what can I do? Yeah, get yeah, mad in there. heaven? You can't do nothing um, about it, right? Right. So I think it would be but petty so, so, to be looking down and like, oh, get out of my room. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like why is they in my room? Right. Don't touch that. You know. mm. But just the thing about Prince, though, Prince was very, I ain't gonna say secretive, but he was very private. Mm-hmm. Prince wasn't like he wouldn't let you know he probably wouldn't let Beyonce or Gladys Knight in this damn house unless he he really wanted to. He you probably I mean? would. He probably would. But not on that Justin Timberlake. But they said Prince used to have parties at his house. That's true. That's true. But um, yeah, that is I true. I think for me, I think it's just Justin Timberlake. I don't know how he would feel about him. Hmm. But um, I don't know. It's but just like they, they, like they, they, they are moonwalking and, and profiting off this man's legacy, who was so you know he he was the man that you know had a slave on his face, was right. exposing the music industry and how they try to 
take the masters of artists. You know, he was the man that was like ownership. You know what I'm saying? Like speaking that real heavy. Right. And and Prince Prince was uh, was talking about like let's not become slaves for just money. Like if we're gonna do art, let's make art. Like fuck all that. You know, trying to get this shit money. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, he was definitely no. down for the cause when it came to artist rights. He was all about artist rights. Right. So, so how, in that sense, Deshaun, same thing as they do do the Hollywood. How does how that make you feel? I mean, I wouldn't like it just because I just don't <laughs> like. I ain't gonna say I don't like Justin Timberlake. I say I don't like him. I, I just don't. Like him. don't I, I don't just. Trust him. Uh, it was just what he did. And then, um, you know, they tried to invite Matt Jetta Jackson um, for the Super Bowl, and she turned it down. She was like, I ain't having no parts of this. Right. You know, after what he did to just, uh, Jetta Jackson and how he, he reacted afterwards. And I and think he, uh, a lot of people are still bothered by that. So. Uh, yeah, I just. It's like. He's just one of those artists that. You kind of know why they are who they are, and you know it's not because of talent. So, I mean, I'm just being honest. I'm not, he's not like horrible, but you know, he is where he is because he's white. I mean, it's just, it's obvious, and they treat him like he's the next coming to Jesus or some shit. It's like they treat him like he's on the Michael or Prince level. Yeah. And I think that's what irks me when we all know he's not. Mm. Like his music, uh, he he just uh he lame. He's a lame man, white boy. <laughs> I'm sorry, he just is. That's what it is. He just lame. Uh, yeah. just a Timberlake. He he benefit off of white privilege. Yeah, hundred percent. Like the fact that his career artist. like took off after Super Bowl. And then he like distanced himself from Janet and then he like threw jabs at Prince. Like it's just I just feel like he's too disrespectful to be someone who has benefited so much from the culture, from being the quote unquote cool white guy, from y'all, whoever y'all are, y'all know who y'all are, invite him to the cookout. I swear everybody right. can come to the cookout. But and that's why, not why do we do that? Why do we have know. to have one, who pulled the damn cookout? And two, why the hell are we inviting motherfuckers to the cookout? Like, what, what's, what's happening? Right. What's, what's happening at this damn cookout that we have to invite um, 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 white people who don't respect or honor or even care about the damn culture? They just trying to make a quick dollar off of it. Right. And I'm not yeah. going to say he's, like, not inspired by it. And so, like, I can see him really being into, you know, black music or whatever, but I just feel like he's disrespectful. Like, I don't care if him and Prince did make up. I still wouldn't want him, if I had anything to do with it, I wouldn't want him dealing with Prince at all. If I had anything to do with it. And what you did to Janet, like, no, uh uh-uh. I just couldn't get down with that. I'm sorry. I mean, his music corny. Like, it is just... I wouldn't even say it's... Like, I wouldn't even say it's corny or bad. It's just regular. It's just real it's regular. No, nah, it's corny. I'm sorry. Well, nah, to I me, it to me, it's not. It's not corny. It's not. It's just regular, and it's it doesn't show growth. It's not. He's not this great artist that everybody thinks. He, that's just what it is. He's just not this great, you know, prodigy that people wanted him to be, and they propped him yeah, up to hope. be. Right. They thought he was like the second Michael. And now they saying he the second Prince. Like they made, they wanted him to be this thing, and he's just not it. And I think he kind of knows it too. He don't. He 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 knows it. Of course yeah. he knows it. He knows it. Um, and it, this is what it is. He's the great white hope in the music industry. When it comes to R and B, like a lot of people say, he rebirthed R and B. He gave R and B a new sound. Like, da, 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 da. Um. He, he's like he, what they call him the white what they call him white chocolate what they call him they had like an award show for the, for the BET Soul Award Blue Eyes Soul like yeah the Blue Eyes Soul he part of the Blue Eyes Soul Justin Timberlake get the hell out of here I mean to do Blue Eyes Soul you just gotta be white and sing so and sing, and sing R&B 
Right. You don't got to be good at it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to respect people who came before you. You just got to be right and be able to sing and, right. and, and do little popular songs. Like, what song? Okay, Deshaun, what song Justin Timberlake had that you like? Okay, this is cool. I mean, like, it, like his music is just average. It's just average. Like, it's just not... It's not groundbreaking. It's it doesn't push an envelope. It's not risque. It's just real average. He has the same like all of his eras had the same little sound. Fucking with Timberland and Pharrell, like it's yeah, just I the same I I thing. Uh, 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 Justin Timberlake ascension into R and B. Go ahead. Yeah, but it's just the same thing. Like I ain't gonna lie, he had a couple songs I like. You know what I'm saying? Like he. He had a couple songs with NSYNC. I liked NSYNC a little bit. I'm not gonna act like I didn't like nothing that he did. You know what I'm saying? Like, there was some stuff that I like, but I just feel like they give him way too much. And I'm not, it's not even, it has nothing to do with race. Cause if you was just talented, I would just be like, okay, he got it. But, and it's not even that he's not talented. It's just that when you start comparing people to like Michael and Prince and when they start to get ahead of themselves and start disrespecting Prince and Janet, that's when it's like, wait a minute now, you you ain't got a little you ain't got a little ahead of yourself. That's how I feel. Right, right. Like you can I even be popular because if you white and you got a smidge of talent, they're gonna treat you like you the second prodigy. That's how they, they do every white artist like that. That's got but a if there hasn't there been a white artist that been like, like, oh my goodness, this artist is a very amazing artist and real authentic, and you know, I, I feel him. You know, you know, some people will say Adele. I, I give people, you know, it's a, if music one is subjective, so you can't really exactly, say, you know, exactly. It is subjective, but for me, um, there's a template that won't even touch the scopes of of an Adele or um, what was this white lady that used to sing with um. Um, Rick Rick James, what her name? Tina Marie. Tina Marie. He, he don't touch the scope of Tina Marie. He's very regular, and not even just regular. He's corny to me. I, I can't get it. I never got into Justin Timberlake. I never did. Um, the only one song I liked him in was, was him and Beyonce. You know. I didn't like that. that. And other than that song, I'm like, and that song was like, eh. <laughs> you know, it ain't, it ain't on replay at all. Right. Uh, but uh, this is what's really bothering me. You dig what I'm saying? Me being a Prince fan, me knowing that Prince was a very much a, not just private person, but a man that of uh, uh, if I'm gonna do something or something, my name's gonna be attached. You know, either I'm gonna benefit from it or my family gonna benefit from it. You dig what I'm saying? I'm not saying that his family's not benefiting from the party at the Piazza Park. But they treated me like right after Prince death. Like it didn't even took him like two. It wasn't even a month before they started having a tour in the main house. That's disrespectful. And now you got album parties having in you know Paisley Park. Like, it's it's somewhat disrespectful to a man's legacy and a man's uh, um a man of Prince stature, who he is, the type of man he was, the type of person and music uh, uh, musician he was. The type of artist he was, like Prince wasn't no, uh, he wasn't like it, 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 it's like it's like they took ownership of his his catalog and ownership of his personal life and personal stuff. Like what the fuck? Like that that's I don't know. I mean I I get where you coming from, but at the same time, I mean that's is if his family got the power to do that. Then. But we don't know. That's the thing. That's another thing. Nobody really know who has the ownership of. Of his estate, no, because they was it's a this was I think it's still going it's an ongoing fight. I don't think nobody really had ownership of Prince's estate or his catalog. I thought like Jay Z had his songs, and I thought that somebody, some kind of way, somebody got the hold of his catalog. I think so I don't know. Like that's what I'm saying. It's that's a mess with the whole situation with how when Prince died and how. They were scrambling, trying to get the copy of his catalog because they know they're going to make millions off of it. And now they're making millions off of his death, you know, throwing parties at his house. Right. Oh, we can't get the, if we can't get the song, we got the rights to his house, so 
What made money off of that? Right, and and I don't know whether I don't know. It's just the whole behind the scenes stuff. I don't know. It's just I don't know if it's his prince or the label or his family or I don't know what's going on. All I know is Justin Timberlake need to sit down somewhere because he getting on my nerves. That's all I know. <laughs> and he really not getting on my nerves, but he getting on my nerves. He ain't really getting on my nerves. I mean, I just saw everybody talking about him. I'm like. I saw what was t- what was saying. I was like, that is kind of disrespectful to to this man legacy to me. It feel feel like a violation. You know what I'm saying? It's it's like who who passed away? I'm trying to think of the amazing artists that passed away, other than Michael Jackson and Whitney Houston. They're not touring Whitney Houston at home. You know what I'm saying? Like they're not you know trying to play. I don't know what the fuck uh, what the fuck is going on with Prince Estate. I, I really don't know. I know Prince been fighting with hard trying to get his rights from Univer- was it Universal? Who he was with? Sony or Universal? I don't know. They all the same thing. Well, yeah, well, what one of the record company? He fought hard to maintain his masters and get ownership of his masters. When he got ownership of his masters, he he, he um. You know, locked him down a title, but he still owned his his rights to his music. But when he died, now everybody's scrambling to get the piece of Prince money and all his works and the works he been working on. You know, pe- previous to his death, it seemed very disrespectful. Like if it was Janelle Monae was doing something in honor of Prince, I'm like, okay, I get that because they were real close. You know what I'm saying? If it was somebody that was real close to him, I get it. Justin Timberlake, come on. Now. Right, like that. That seems that that tells me right there. There's some, uh, um, like like the the uh, uh, um, the record companies and the record execs execs that were fighting him and you know kind of probably work him and fought him to the day he died, and to or to his death because there's speculation that he was murdered. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that pushed him out the way so they can get. His catalog, so they can make money off of it. That's what I just see. They like they just making money off a of prince's name, right? And I feel like that is like totally disrespectful and totally wrong. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, I don't know. Behind the scenes, I don't be knowing what's going on, so I don't wanna. I don't even speak on that because ain't no telling. They said Prince used to like having parties at it, so I don't know. All I know. What they gotta is, do? He like having parties at his house. What they gotta do with? Justin Timberlake throwing an album release party at his house. All I know and that was his is his house. That's the design. Like, all right, mother passed away from my house, right? Mm-hmm. That's like saying some random person just having a party at mother house. But see, Not nobody in the family, some random person who mother don't even know or even like. Let's say somebody mother don't even like. Having a party at her house. Would you be like, oh, hell no. What the hell y'all doing? I mean, but see, life? it's it's like I don't know what the family thinking. I, it's like I don't know. That's why I well, just... From, the, from what I'm hearing, the family is not pleased. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's just... Uh, man, maybe him and maybe him and Prince made up and we don't know. I don't know. All I... My issue is they be treating Justin Timberlake like, like he's the next Prince of Michael. And I'm still salty about the Janet thing. And I don't like the disrespect of Prince from Justin Timberlake, whether they made up or not. You should never di- get away with disrespecting a legend like that, like, ever. Especially when you white. Yeah, I said it. Especially when you white and you doing black music. You building a career off of our shit and you disrespecting us? No. That's what my thing is. So, like I said, if I, if I was to die... And my enemy of some sort, you know, uh, some little child who came up disrespecting me or whatever. I don't know if I would look down from heaven and be like, hmm, get out my house. I'd probably be like, you know what? Who cares? I'm up here, y'all down there, you know, whatever. But, um, I don't know. Who cares? At the end of the day, I don't care. Uh. Well, let us know how y'all feel, if y'all care. Like, do y'all feel like this is disrespectful to Prince's name, Prince's legacy, everything Prince stand on? Do y'all feel like, you know, um, when it comes to black artists, when it comes to artists um, 
ownership and their creativity is all fair game once it's, once they transition. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can make money off of their legacy and without the rights or proceeds going to the family. I don't know if that situation happening here. Maybe somebody in the comment section may know. Just let us know in the comments. Um, let's build there. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is one thing that I will say I'll take away from this situation. It shows that the exploitation of black artists is still happening, even to real deaths, even to our greats and legends like a Prince, like a Michael Jackson, like a Whitney Houston. You know what I'm saying? That's the issue I have with this whole situation. That's the issue why I think it is somewhat important. It's not like a, just a throw it away. It is what it is. Like, nah, this is real. Because when, especially when you're an artist, if you're an artist out there making your art, um, and granted you want your art to be received by everyone, and everyone can take interpretation, get inspiration from it, but you don't want nobody to exploit you, you know, use you. You know what I'm saying? So let us know how y'all feel in the comment section. And um, we'll holler at y'all later. Peace. I will not raise my daughter differently than my mother raised me. The rearing I got from my mother, words cannot express. I could live in any time, I could live in any country, I could live on any planet, and I would be fine. What was the key? The key. What did your mother know? <sighs> what truth was coming through your mother? that's mm. going to come through you to your daughter. My mother gave us aphorisms to learn as children. And the one that I, there are two that stand out foremost in my mind. One is the inner reality creates the outer form. I learned this when I was in grade school. I was very young. And the other is the universe bears no ill to me. I bear no ill to it.